Welcome to Nutter Gamer Gaming. Today I have a first look video for you today on Ravenhurst. Now, if you're not aware, we do currently have a poll as of today uh, in our community tab. Feel free to look at it. That is to help us decide which mod to do a series playthrough on. So you can still time to reinfluence the vote. Go ahead and take a look. All right, let's jump into the settings. We're not changing much of anything. We're going to leave the general settings for max players. We're doing a single player. Uh, we're we're going to double up the experience to get some more um, points and get a feel for what the progression is like. Not changing into the advanced settings. We don't need airdrops or block damage changes. Multiplayer is meaningless. And this is the interesting section. Uh, for this, I changed headshots on only. It sounds like fun. Uh, I've actually always wanted to do a headshot playthrough. Here you can uh, adjust the max zombies, uh, the triple the amount of zombies in the cities if you want to. Same with the wandering hordes. You can change the horde frequency, rage on and off, all those things. So these are some pretty cool options and uh, they're, they're kind of fun to tweak with them and change the gameplay. Anyways, I don't want to drone on too long. Let's go ahead and start the mod. All right, here we go. We are in. That took a little bit to load. It all began with a cough. Now that sounds familiar. <clears throat> it should have been contained. It should have been stopped. We had it under control. State by state, country by country, it spread. Politicians were slow to react, and self-appointed celebrity leaders were too busy smiling for cameras to help us survive. By the time the government approached Moccasin Pharmaceuticals, it was already too late. All right. <clears throat> While leaders gathered supporters across the country, the virus took root and spread to everyone. Every last soul infected. Moccasin became greedy. The cure never went to market. Millions died. Um, we were all that is left. Find us. We have a network across the globe. Moccasin's cure is out there, somewhere. There is still hope. All right. Very dramatic. All right, so welcome to Ravenhurst. Uh, this is Alpha 19.4. I believe that's the most recent uh, Ravenhurst version. At least what I could find. All right, so as usual, we have a lot of punching to do. So we're gonna punch uh, fibers. We're gonna pick up rocks. And uh, yeah, let's start with that and catch me after we're done. All right, just taking a cotton pick, cotton pick a minute here, which actually looks really good, by the way. I like the 3D models for that. Very nice. Actually, I think I've seen it in a few other mods. I believe... Undead Legacy uses them as well, so they're probably pretty common. I mean, most of these are mod packs anyways, like they're a collection of various modifications and uh, they kind of pick and choose what uh, what loadout they want. All right, so with that done, let's uh, look for this fiber cordage. We need five of those. Let's craft that. Oh, five. There we go. And we have this in our bags. Uh, a note from Jax, uh, Jax Teller, who is the developer of the mod, so that's who it's from. Uh, the rest of the club is either scattered or dead. You and I are all that is left. I have head north. You have uh, left some stuff for you to help get us. Wait, I have some. I have left you some stuff to help you get to us. Use your special skill wisely because it's all you have in this fucked up world. Jeez, I'm glad I didn't read that in the first 30 seconds. All right, uh, welcome to Ravenhurst. Uh, this week before the week it outbreak began, the hospitals of Ravenhurst were bombarded with overdoses thanks to a new designer drug manufactured by the Makassin cartel. Their towers are the first to be locked down. The outlaw bikers MC screwed over the Biomacassin laid siege to their headquarters. The government called in the military to take control and failed. All hell broke loose. Okay, so more lore. Okay, so what do we got here? Class selection. Okay, um, looks like we need the personal crafting station for that, so we can't do that right now. Let's uh, put a few things in our bar. So we do have bandages, we got torches, we got our claim block. Oh! Probably won't use the claim block, but we'll, we'll take it with us. That's survival mix. We got some food. We got some water. All right, cool. So let's make a bedroll. Now, uh, like I was saying before, this is going to be one of a series of first look videos. Uh, so we're going to do Ravenhurst. We're going to take a first look at... Uh, actually, I think Daphne already did Where's UK. Um, we're probably going to take a look at the other one, like Undead Legacy and a couple others. Just to get a good roundabout... Uh, view of all the the mods we're considering before we make a final decision about what mod we're going to do. Now, I chose Ravenhurst because that is currently the leader by a fair bit. Like, there's uh, at least twice as many people voting for Ravenhurst as there is anything else. So, uh, I'm taking that consideration and I'm starting with Ravenhurst. All right, so there is our bedroll. We can slap that down and pick it back up because this I don't want to be here. All right, so now we need more fiber cordage. So I've been gathering sticks, gathering pine fibers. Uh, that figure, I was going to need more. So I, I, I guessed well. All right, let's keep punching that while the cordage is. So we're crafting a personal workbench. 
Now, from what I remember from Ravenhurst, everything happens at this little workbench. Where did it go? Oh, uh, at the craft, okay, the craft station. Yeah, so everything happens at the personal workstation. Very few items are crafted on your person. Now, I also see all these trash bags. Again, if uh, Ravenhurst hasn't changed from what I remember, I'll need to gather these. So hopefully I'll have a tool here in a second. Okay, there's our workstation. And there it is. All right, now we need more fiber cordage. Maybe I should just, like, craft all. I don't know. Let's do, like, 16 for now. All right, and we need sharp stones. I can do that, too. Actually, if I can craft them here, sharp stone. Double upper Q. Now, in order to get cra uh, quest credit, you'll have to craft, like, have the window open while you're crafting. Uh, that much I remember as well. All right, so now we need a primitive, um, primitive handle. Okay, we'll favorite that because I have a feeling we'll use that again. And a tool head for stone axe. Done. And three, two, one. Done. Cool. Now we need a stone axe. We can do that here too. Oh, we can do our class selection while we're at it. Cool. So there's our stone axe. We'll put that right here. Now, uh, let's see. I want something that'll give me a quick, easy start. Nothing thinking about long game because this, this is just our first look. So blade class, bladed weapons, you'll get a, you know, t knives, I assume. Brawler could be interesting. I'm uh, probably going to go blunt because I'm really comfortable with that. Javelins, pistols, rifles. I'm going to stick with blunt. I want something that I don't need to scrounge for ammo. All you need is stamina. So blunt class it is. Okay, we got that. And read. Okay, training complete. War with the book teacher had exclusive weapons. Neat. Okay, so we have that too. So we have our survival quest and our blunt weapons training. So we need a wooden club. So let's craft that, craft that immediately. Oh, I'm going to need wood. All right, let's gather some wood. All right, tree down. Uh, we've been gathering, looks like resin. We got a bee out of that. Pine seed, tree bark. Ooh, there's a club. Nice. Oh, I don't have to craft the club. Well, neat. All right, we do need to craft wood though. So we need to harvest, or not harvest, but... Uh, let's just do all, all the wood logs. Now we need to make sticks as well. So we can take the wood and then make sticks. So yeah, this is a very granular process. Um, how much sticks is it per? That many, okay. Take some more wood. I think it's three each. So 24, uh, 27, there, yeah, that should do it. So let's wait for that to finish crafting. All right, we got all of our sticks. All right, now we need fiber cordage. Of course we do. Uh, sharps gather stones. Okay, we need more stones. So we'll craft the cordage on us. Now we need to pick up some more stones. Oh, actually, this will work for us, right? Oh, wow. <laughs> this is going to take a while. Actually, I just ran around and gathered uh, rocks because that is a heck of a lot faster than beating down that rock. There's a... I have a feeling this, this uh, mod is going to be really grindy. Let's pick that up. All right, so now we need to craft sharp stones. So, five of those. One, two, three, four, and five. Now for pickaxe. All right. Uh, primitive handle, primitive stone pickaxe. All right, that's done. One and two. And craft a stone pickaxe. Easy as pie. Or so far, it's pretty straightforward. This uh, intro quest is definitely a lot longer than vanilla. All right, let's put that down here. Ah, oh, more stone. At least we got a pickaxe this time. All right, so I do have this other item. This is part of the blunt class we got. This gives us 15 levels of the action skill. So it's kind of like a, a booster. All right, that's done. All right, now do we have any... Oh, we don't have any points yet. So we need to gather stone, iron, lead, and coal. Oh, it looks like we're getting lead and iron and stone. Oh, and nitrate and coal. So it looks like these nodes give you a little bit of everything. So I think I remember that from this mod. I, I'm thinking it's just the surface nodes. Um, I'm un unclear, unsure if you dig down, if that's, you get the same stuff. But yeah, I guess all we need to do is hit this one rock. All right, there it is. Uh, so we have all of our coal and nitrate and everything. So now we need to gather plant fibers. <laughs> oh, of course we do. All right, there's all of our plant fibers. Let's craft uh, eight cordage. Eight, there we go. Oh, wow, this is so much, uh, so much crafting, so much gathering. I'm a, I don't want to move too far from where I am, because I know if we do, we're going to counter zombies, and that's going to make it a lot harder to get all of this stuff done. Um, okay, let's grab the lead fishing weight, because we already have lead on us. 
All right, so now we need to craft fiber plant clothing. So gloves, pants, shirt, and shoes. All right, those are all done. One, two, three, and four, and just slap them on. Done. Okay, we're, we're cruising along. Okay, we're gonna craft a wooden club, even though it's kind of useless. But hey, we'll keep it as a backup, maybe? I don't know, let's put it in here somewhere. All right, oh gosh, bows and arrows. So we need to craft sticks. Okay, we need 22 sticks. Um, okay, let's craft a bunch of those. All right, we got our sticks. Now we need stone arrowheads. Uh, yep, we just need to craft one. And then same with the arrow, the, uh, arrow shafts. Gather all that. Now primitive bow. And then two arrows. Uh, this is pretty much relatively the same. The process is a lot more drawn out, but, you know, it is what it is. So uh, actually, maybe we'll put the bow there instead. Can I scrap? Try to scrap that? No, I can't. Whatever. I'll just toss it. Okay. Oh, uh, we already gathered three filthy trash bags. Look at us being a pro uh, proactive. Now, we need to craft a trash bag storage. It's uh, use to store your personal belongings. Yeah, this is not a popular part of the mod from what I've, I've gathered, but... It is what it is. I'm going to toss a land claim block. All right, now place storage bag. Um, we can pick it back up, right? Start a base. Ooh, okay, so um, I'm actually going to pick this back up. We get it back? Yes, we do. All right, so now we need to gather wood, bent nails, and crafted nails. Now, I don't know what this tells us. Uh, frames. Okay, so what to remember is you have to break down... Oh, there's going to be zombies. I just feel the world chunk a little bit. Yeah, you can get bent nails from existing wooden structures. So, like, chairs and wooden blocks. Um, oh, there, yeah, there. Get some bent nails there. Let's just need a few more. Oh, actually, at least one more. Come on, now. There we go. Just got to take, take buildings apart. It's kind of an interesting <laughs> way to go about it. So, let's craft some nails. Favorite that, of course. And craft. There, all done. Now for a wooden frame block. Yes, yeah, so you have to go through all of that to make a wooden frame. Oh, what am I missing? Oh, the nails. There we go. So all that for a single frame. Isn't that amazing? All right, so you need to place the wood frame. So we may as well, you know, uh, replace uh, damage we've done and then upgrade it. Just like vanilla. There. Now for a campfire. Ooh, I think we're almost done. Oh. So what time is it? Uh, it's noon, so that, I think that's pretty good time. I think it's pretty good time. All our quests done by noon, and then we'll, I imagine we'll need to find a trader if it's the same as vanilla. Uh, yep, yeah, locate trader. Cool. Well, I think I can... Hold on. White River Citizen, glad to make you... Oh, glad you made it, but uh, it's going to take a lot more to survive. There is much more work to be done. The president has injected himself with the only known cure to the virus. What an asshole. Fortunately, the cure died with him and when he fell out of Air Force One mid-flight. <laughs> Rumor is there's someone out there with the knowledge to end it all, end all of this. Keep an eye out. Okay. Will do, Mr. Magoo. Um, where am I going? This way? Okay. So uh, we're heading into the forest, thankfully. The uh, Looks like the burnt biome's down there. So we're going to keep trucking along. Uh, I can put something in my inventory. Try to clear this a little up a bit. Um, get rid of some pine seeds. I uh, probably need the ink pen. What's this? Oh, use this paper to select a support class. Classes do not lock you out of progressing, but do offer unique recipes for weapons. Um, well, shoot, look at this. Chef, farmer, lumberjack, medic, and miner. Hmm. Uh, but it gives you splints, herb herbal antibiotics. You know what? I'm going to do the smart thing and go medic. Because I, me personally, I would have gone miner first. My first reaction, like, ooh, get the mine the things up. But we want to survive this little mini playthrough, so let's choose medic. There we go, medic class. So that's a support class. Skills earn you money. Previous life will help you survive this one. Use your former knowledge. Uh, yeah, sure. Yep, we got some drugs, and uh, we learned how to do herbal antibiotics and first aid bandages. Yeah, you know what? I feel pretty good about that. We're gonna toss the uh, a few things here. I want to get this rest of inventory. Tree bark, whatever. Painkillers we'll hold on to. Whoa. No, no. We, we hang on to those. Uh, get rid of the bee. I'll keep the trash bag storage. Keep the splint. And we'll get rid of... Uh, I don't want to get rid of anything, really. Crap. Um, lead? We need lead for anything. Energy cells, car batteries. Oh, fuck it. We don't need that. Nope. 
Okay, we're unencumbered. Let's head over and find that trader. Oh, we got some zombies. Uh, now, if you look at the area and recognize it, yes, this is Navisgain. Now, this is a modified version of Navisgain, specially customized for Ravenhurst. Apparently has, like, a whole bunch of new POIs. Okay, I really need um, Sexy T-Rex, like, right now. So we had four points. I just realized I have points. So that, and then more Sexy Rex. All of the Sexy Rex. All right, so that's done. So we do have strength. We're focusing on melee. So we should be able to finish this fight a lot easier. One, and a two, three. And remember, headshots only. Nothing else counts. So if you hit him anywhere else, like right here, doesn't even affect them. Cool. Wow. There, it's gotta be headshots. So that'll keep this little playthrough interesting. Well, I imagine they move the traders around. This does not look like the chariot I remember. Nor is it in the location I remember. Yeah, pretty sure this is moved. Okay, what is this? Uh, talk to trader. Hold on. I'm gonna focus on trash trash bags because uh, those are the storage. You know, we need all we can get. Another one right here. Yes, nothing on it. All right. So, uh, oh, okay. man, the, the textures are really. Hold on. Let's take a look at this. Um, quality, texture quality full. Uh, is there texture streaming? Is that what's messing it up? Is there any texture streaming? Occlusion off, object quality, ultra. So why is my textures all gr gross? No, oh, whatever. Not important. Ooh, another trash bag. Did I? Hold on. Ooh, what's this? Grum sticks? Uh, all right. Apparently I should grab that. Uh, may as well check this while I'm here. Schematic? Wood. I'll take wood. All right. I heard a horse. Why is there a zombie in here? Why? Why are you in the trader? I have questions. Are there zombies above us too? What is going on? Oh yeah, there's a zombie here. Look at this. You let your place go to hell. I do not approve. I am disappointed in you, Joel. Someone, someone above us too. Whatever. I'm gonna talk to the trader. I'm gonna complete my mission. Howdy, fella. I have any jobs? Uh, ooh, clear zombies nearby. You sure. You. Thank you. Well, we may as well use that as our wherever this says as our base, or something in the area. Oh, hello. Ooh. Down you go. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm gonna check this loot here in a second. I don't want to. Ooh, yeah. I don't want to inundate ourselves too much, but I'm gonna check these uh these things for anything important. Oh, a bong schematic. I can craft a bong. All right, Spear Hunter. Okay, all right, I can make bongs. That's uh, <laughs> that's an interesting direction to take this game. I wonder what effect using the bong would have on your character. Ooh, cooking pot. I have a feeling that will uh, that will help us. Uh, water and pickled fish. All right, <laughs> I'll bite literally. That's a horse in the distance. Look at that. Can you can you tame horses? I. I don't know. I don't want a horse. All right, um, Arrowhead. So I'm gonna check through this place a little bit more, and then we're gonna head over to that building and probably make it our, our home, or at least somewhere's nearby. All right, so we're gonna get out of here. Uh, ooh, what's this, a news vendor? Uh, huh? Yesterday, Muxin. Oh, ow! Why are there zombies in here? Oh, something broke over the fence. Whatever. All right, let's find our way out of here. We use a little more experience because uh, I kind of want to get some pack mule because that might be that might be the way to go. All right, so we're gonna head uh, that way. Although I probably should set up somewhere nearby so that can get access to this trader. I mean, something defensible would be nice, but I don't know if a normal house would be defensible. Oh, level two. Yes, pack mule. We need pack mule. Is that a thing? Um, uh, strength? No. Uh, action skills? Pack. Okay, there are pack mule. Carry two more items. Um, oh, no, 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 no. We need to unlock things. Um, 
find a backpacks to unlock additional spots or inventory. So I need to find backpacks. So we cannot spend points in it. So I guess that frees us to spend more points in strength. All right, I guess that's decided. Um, yeah, I'm gonna drink some water and just keep moving. All right, so change my mind. I'm gonna head to that quest right now. I think what I need to do is secure a location. Now I'm, I'm liking the look of this place. I mean, it's across the river from the trader, so I'm pretty sure it's too uh, far away to interfere with any claim block issues. Oh, wait, I don't think I don't think it's trader protected. Never mind. I guess that's not even a concern. But um, I mean, it's made of brick. Ooh, okay. It's pretty sizable. It's got a little stable thingy. All right, so I guess I'm gonna clear this place and uh, try to set up a storage somewhere because I really need to unencumber myself. I feel a little too exposed. Ow! Jesus, buddy. No, no, no. All right. Okay, I guess we're gonna clear this place. Do I have any arrows? I do have a couple arrows. Oh, yeah. Nice, maybe I should make some more arrows. Okay, what do we got here? Garage storage. Uh, old toolbox storage. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll bite, that sounds good to me. So yeah, we definitely need to do some looting. This place seems to have a few good things. Now, I probably should get up somewhere as high. So, okay, you know what? I'm gonna set up storage right here. So let's uh, move something on my inventory here. Let's grab some trash bag storage. Okay, and we'll put our um, storage, or our storage, but um, wait, where's our, wait, do I have my crafting bench here? Um, I didn't leave it somewhere, did I? Oh, I might have done that. I. God damn it, did I do that? All right, I guess we have to find a uh, new personal crafting station. Oh, it really just needs fiber, sticks, and cordage. Well, that's not a big deal. Let me get that ready. Yeah, my mind is boggled that I didn't uh, take my crafting station with me. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, so we got this. Um, we're going to make some uh, more storage. Yeah, trash bag storage. Let's grab a couple of those. And they're right here. Right here? Yeah, trash bag storage. All right, so we'll put a couple more down. Just I just want to clear my inventory. Get rid of all this. All right, just left a few uh, basic crafting stuff things on me, whatever. So we're going to clear this place and find a good spot to secure uh, for our, you know, where we're going to camp out tonight. Somewhere's, um, zombies can't reach me. Oh, God. Oh, there's a few of them in here. Yoink. All right, let's club these guys all the way down. All right, not too bad. Um, yeah, I definitely have to keep an eye on those points. Uh, the better I can get into melee, the better. Because, uh, yeah, it's definitely going to be a big issue trying to keep these zombies dead. Oh, God. Oh, okay, that's a big boy. All right, so I def uh, am I tracking attention? I think I am. All right, we'll let her, let her come in here. I'm going to keep clearing this place. Because yeah, upstairs looks to be... The place I'm gonna want to go. Oh, excuse me, sir. Okay, so a little glass window thingy. Ooh, nice posters. Halloween locked. Not for much longer. Oh, neat. We're getting some nails off those. Yeah, I want to get this all clear. So far, so far as I can tell, the best place to clear right now is going to be probably getting rid of this. <laughs> nice. Getting rid of that staircase. So once I do that, I should be able to more easily stay protected and silent up here. So I'll maybe have a little jump ladder, destroy the stairs. Uh, I might move some walls around just to have a better area to work. But yeah, this is a, maybe a good little uh, starting base. Ooh, munitions box, nightstands. Okay, and ooh. Oh, hold on. There's a lady in here. Oh, you have a, you have a nap. Okay, so apparently you can rip off the crates out of these. So, maybe this is easier. Alright, that's opened. Ooh, and it gives me a uh, zombie barricade. Cool. Gun store box. Please give me a gun. Well, ammunition, that's something. Wooden chest. Okay, more ammunition. Alright, so I'm going to go through and loot this place and see what I have to work with. 
Very pretty much got this place looted. Uh, we have someone knocking at our door. Very rude. Knock back. Oh! And knock back we did. Alright, so I believe I'm just about done looting. Uh, when I was rudely interrupted. Might be a few odds and ends here, but I think I'm trying to get... Oh, toilet. Never know what might be in the toilet. Oh, toilet water. You know, whatever. Uh, bathtub filled. Dot, dot, dot. Alright. Cool. Uh, actually, what do you get from this? Oh, gosh. There goes my, pet, my stone axe. Alright, that gives, this did give us a level up, though. So we can put another point in strength. Because I really want to double down on that. It's our strongest defense. So it is getting late. My inventory is chock full. Very, very chocked full. Uh, can I make any other storage things? Yes, I can. So we're going to start moving stuff upstairs. Okay, let's get that in our bar. Right here. Here, whatever. Um, okay, that one's empty. It's all... Oh, right. I need to craft another... Uh, Another store, uh, another uh, stone axe. Um, so I think I need, hold on, axe, stone axe. I need tool head, stone axe, with sharp stones, sharp stones. I need five of those. Okay, let me uh, take care of this. You've seen this all before. All right, now we're getting our stone axe. Let's go over some of the items we've looted because I am super encumbered and I think that might help us. All right, so we have college jacket. Let's look at the stats. Uh, I got two college jackets. Let's go with one of them. Uh, Wasteland treasures, purify water, great. Graveyard somatic, awesome. Let's scrap the trophies. Um, scrap the helmets. Um, wear the padded gloves. Toss the plank or get rid of that. Got a hat to wear. Ooh, cooling mesh mod. Is there something we? Yeah, we can mod this. Modify. Slammed it in. Oh no, there's really there's no modifiers. That sucks. Modify that. Yeah, I guess we'll just put it there for now. I don't know if I want to slow myself down more than I already have. Scrap that. Okay, so I do have a little bit of mobility left. I'm going to take this bench right here. And... Yeah, grab these things. And I'm going to head upstairs before I lose any more of my mobility. Alright, put all my storage down. I emptied out my inventory for the most part. i get rid of the potted plant. May as well get some clay out of it. Um, I have a flashlight. Might use that to look around a bit. I, I, I'd i like to maybe avoid... Uh, wait. Was that my friggin'... Wait, did I see that correctly? Okay, I thought I saw my, the crafting bench I was missing. Okay, alright. So, uh, now that we're moving all of our stuff up here, let's move this last bit of it right here. Uh, is there anything I can stack? Uh, yeah, a few things I can stack. Make the best use as possible. And then throw the rest, uh, keep that one there. Throw the rest in here. Uh, toolbox storage, I actually might use that here in a second. Trash bag storage, I might use that. Okay, so we're in pretty good shape. All right, um, what was I doing? Yes, I gotta get rid of the stairs. So while I'm bashing the stairs down, now uh, this video is gonna be a little bit longer because I wanna play two days worth of uh, the game because I want to see what the overnights are like. Oh, you know what? I don't know if I'm going to be able to... Uh... Hmm. Hold on. I don't know what options I have here. Um, oh, there's a book untouched bookcase right here. Get rid of this. Oh, look at that. Spear Hunter. And making denim overalls and stuff like that. Oh, there's a safe over there too. Nice. Alright, so yeah, I'm going to try to prevent the zombies from getting up. Now, how do I... Do I... Can I make ladders? Ladder. Wooden ladder. I need a... Okay, personal crafting station. Can we make a, a wooden ladder? Ladder. I need wood and nails. I mean, okay, that's to be expected. Let's make some nails here. And uh, let's make a couple pieces of, uh, of ladder. Because I have a feeling I want to be able to jump up here without uh, worrying about the zombies. Alright, so we got a uh, couple pieces of ladder here. Now, I probably should put it somewhere like... Uh, kind of like that. All right. Now, if I can get rid of this stuff... Ooh, I didn't loot that either. Let me grab this quickly. Uh, I should be able to make a good jump ladder. That's a decent uh, decent one out of that. And, yeah, some more cans and stuff like that. So I should be able to just hop right up here. Ooh, nighttime. So I have no idea what nighttime zombies are like. I kind of don't want to find out. So this place is pretty well lit, so I should be able to do without... 
making any, um, what do you call it, uh, spawning any headlamps in. So maybe what I should do is focus on getting some arrows, because I might need to get, might need some of those to get through the night. So yeah, let's, uh, what else I was going to say, I want to get through the night, and maybe part of the morning, and call it a video, and to call it a first look. I mean, there's only so much into the mod we're going to be able to get, but I want to just feel for the systems, the UIs, the, the introductory quests, and uh, just get enough of a feel of the game to know what I'm in for. Oh, we got some zombie action happening here. Um, where are you? Okay, you know, if that's all you do, that might be all right. Nice and quiet. Right in the head, because that's really the only way we can hurt, hurt you. Oh, the arrows, I can get them back. Nice. All right, I'll get those arrows back. Okay. That wasn't too bad. I don't, I don't have any more arrows, but, you know, that's another problem. Uh, arrows. Yeah, I need feathers. Shoot. I wish I picked more bird's nests along the way. All right, I'm going to putter around throughout the night. If something interesting happens, I'll talk about it. Otherwise, we'll see you in the morning. You know, something I noticed about the containers uh, out in the world, you can't put anything in them. They have to be player-made for you to use them. So they really have a hard-on for uh, making storage a difficult problem, don't they? Now, something else I noticed, I was looking for my, my uh, quest uh, thing here. I have a quest to create a journal. So I need paper, twine, and leather strips. Um, empty journal. So I need to grab my paper and... Oh, I have the ink pen I have here somewhere. So there's the paper. And I had an ink pen. Oh, you know what? Okay, never mind. Uh, let's put that back. Uh, ink. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I should be able to make this empty survival journal. Okay, what's this about? Okay, quest completed. Creating a journal. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at whatever quest that is. Quest completed. Survival journal. Uh, didn't get any rewards. But uh, what is this about? All right, a binder to hold all of your notes on survival in the apocalypse. You'll need something to write with the start to journal. Um, when you finish a quest line, you'll receive a completed chapter. Hold on to these. You'll need to craft the completed journal later on. Okay. Uh, gathering information. It's a good time to take note of notes how to survive. After I make this map, I'll collect things I need to start my journal and survive the rest of today. Okay, so we have a quest, gathering information. Paper, paint, and nails. Okay. Um, there's something out there. I don't know where we're going to get any paper tonight. Or paint for that matter. Actually, wait. Hold on. I remember there's a jacket here that has some dye on it. I don't know if dyes have any bearing on this, like Darkness Falls. No, they do not. But that'll give us a paint. Yep, yeah, that's all we need for that. And then just uh, paper. Hold on, do we have anything we can get uh, paper out of? Seeds, onion... No, I don't see anything paper related. I guess we're just going to keep puttering around. Alright, we've reached the morning, and uh, we're just going to putter around, did some crafting, and uh, listen to the zombies shuffle around. I didn't want to gauge too, many, too much craziness, I wanted to survive in the night, not to mention, I uh, just haven't got a club and, like, an arrow or two. All right, let's take down here and look around. Yeah, I didn't really take a good look at everything else here. There's some piggies here. Easy kills. Are those wood stacks? Can I get a lot of wood from that? I can. Very nice. Oh. And yeah, there's still some zombies wandering around. So I probably should get some um, birds' nests. Because uh, some feathers would be nice for arrows. So anyway, the first rest of my first night, I'm going to play a little bit more of the day. I don't know if I'll finish the day or not. We'll, we'll see how the day takes me. But uh, yeah, so the general idea is I want to play through a little bit of each mod. And if you you know like what you see here, uh, you can wait until you uh, get all of the mods views that we're voting on before making a complete decision on which mod you'd like to see me do a series on. So we're almost done Darkness Falls. Uh, it's still maybe another week of recording to do. So uh, you got, there's still time. So we're not... Uh, we're not rushing, but I want to get all of... Is that a dead dog? Oh, God! Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know if they're still behind me. Oh. Um. Wow. What? Oh, yeah, they're there. Okay, all right. That's, that's happening. 
Okay, all right. Um, can I hit that more? Yeah, I can. Just, uh, just want to take more of that out. Oh, God. All right, you know what? Maybe I can hit you from him here. That dog. Down. Get down. Okay, one down. Okay, you can't stack on your buddy now. Ooh, right in the head. That's what we need. We need headshots. Headshots only. Oh, God. That's going to be horrible with the dogs. Huah! No, damn it. That's right. I need, I need to see your curly whites. Oh, God. Okay. All right. Okay, so uh, how do you make a bone knife? Um, I can, that's a thing, right? I need bone. Bone from bone fragments? Uh, do I... Okay, I do have some bone fragments. Okay, I thought I saw some squishy guts downstairs. Hold on, was it? Okay, I thought I saw some books up there or something. Alright, because I probably should skin whatever... Yeah, right here. More bone fragments. How many bones can I make? Two. I might have to just harvest these guys just like that. Oh, hold on, there's more, gu more guts here. No, nothing much. Okay, so I guess we're going to take these dogs apart. Um, okay, I can make enough bone fragments for a knife now. Let's hop up here. Um, get the knife. Uh, bone knife. Bones. I need five bones. Alright, let's take care of this uh, nut bag here. Ooh. Yeah, I definitely need to take out those stairs. Because they, they don't want them to break the ladder. Nice. All right, let's check on our uh, knife here. So d definitely in first impression of Darkness or Darkness Falls, but uh, Ravenor so far, it's a very granular, a very grindy. You have ten steps where normally you had one. I mean, you could feel more accomplished, I guess. You could get used to it and you know pre do a lot more prep work, so it doesn't feel as bad. So it's a very, it seems like a very slow burn mod. So, I don't know, I, I didn't see a lot of wacky zombies, maybe a few different textures. So, yeah, it's definitely a slow burn, more of a slow burn mod, more granular, more maybe immersive in the crafting aspect of it. Anyways, that's my impression so far. And if you're just getting this dog, you drop some stuff off, and what the hell, let's go uh, go do that quest. Alright, we made ourselves another stone axe before we leave. I guess we have it up to uh, 11, so, right on. Alright, yes, let's break some more of this down right here. Because uh, I don't want zombies to make any this any more difficult. I mean, that's that's probably fine. Okay, and uh, wait, what's this door up here? Hold on, is this a thing? I saw this ladder. I thought it just lit up. Oh, hello. I see some medical supplies in there. Oh, there goes our. I think I made a new one. What is all this? Oh. Um. Excuse me, sir. What is all this? Okay, like a little hideout. Okay, I like it. Oh shit, I should have, should have moved in here. Uh, medical bandages, I like it. Ooh, uh, a toolbox. Okay, I, this is not, this is cool. There's a little uh, little loft up here with some hidden stuff. Uh, let's uh, see what's in here before we go. All right, ooh, that's a good stone axe and a good stone pickaxe. Steel polish, leather armor repair kit. Okay, so we definitely want to see everything that's up here. Ooh, weapon bag. Okay, man, I wish I had that. I wish I'd have thought I'd look up here last night. Uh, ooh, cooler. Okay. What do we got in here? Nothing. Awesome. Can I do something with this? Uh, maybe take this pickaxe. So I wonder if I can pick that up, because that would be cool to have. I can't seem to pick it up through menu ac action, but maybe I can just take it. Uh, or it'll give me some iron, yeah, so win-win, I guess. Maybe a bit. Oh, it gave us a light bulb, though. Light bulb. Christmas lights, flashlight, modern ceiling light, industrial bulbs. Okay, cool. All right. Let's hope for... Okay, I'm actually looking at, like, a AK-47 right now, or a shotgun. Can I just get... Oh. Blender bus. Uh, yeah. A good club. Ammo? Oh, wow, that's uh, that's quite good. Okay, let's get into this box, too. Alright, now we're into this. What do we get here? Uh, another stone axe, steel, steel polish, steel armor repair kit. Those seem like some advanced things. Nice, okay, I'm gonna go upstairs and drop that off, and then go do my quest. 
All right, drop some stuff off. We do have a blunderbuss now, so that is a large leap forward. I can blow some faces off, so I'm pretty, pretty content about that. All right, so we only have, well, gosh, it's kind of a half kilometer to get there, but let's uh, go ahead and take a run. Now, I like that they modified Navis gain to the point that it feels like a different place. Like the POIs, you know, new POIs, uh, things are different locations. I can appreciate that. So I'm going to head in this direction, pick up as many bird's nests and rocks, I guess, as I can, and uh, see what this quest has in store for us. Ooh, found some uh, magazines in the mailbox here. I guess this will give us some, some paper. So maybe it'll give us all the paper we're looking for. Oh gosh, is this place in the winter biome? Oh yeah, it is. Alright, um... Do I have weather protection like I do in vanilla? No, I do not. Am I going to freeze and die? Um, because that has me concerned. Okay. So. All right, so we're cold, but are we freezing? Chicken. Oh. Get some frozen zombies. Can I get this? Yeah, I can. All right. See if we can skin this before Chuckles over here gets over. Come on. No, 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 no. God damn it. Almost. Stab through your Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, that was a lucky shot. And a loot bag. With arrows and food. Deal. Is a cat food used for anything? No. So I'm going to eat it. Dog food. Tuna. Really? Oh, that's tuna. Okay, tuna sandwich, gravy toast, or whatever. Or something weird. Where is it? Did I, did I finish that chicken? Um, maybe I did? Yeah, maybe I did. Okay, so we got the quest right over here, and we're already encumbered, even before we arrived. Which is awesome. Okay. Oh, okay. Alright, it's got a club out. Oh, nice! Oh, that's a bear. That's a bear. That's... Let's not tease the bear, shall we? Papaya! <laughs> Uh, not sure if any of you watch uh, Nerdlet Gaming. Uh, it's kind of one of the lovely folks that my wife is collaborating with on our Girls' Night Out series. Uh, she says that every time she pops up, pops open a head. That's kind of a fun thing to say. All right, so I just want to get this quest done. Oh, that didn't hurt you at all. Huh. Yeah, this head well, headshot thing is going to be a challenge. There we go. Speaking of which, it's getting kind of dark. All right. Um, I should, probably shouldn't loot too much before we finish clearing, because we want all of our mobility. Alright, so we're making our way in. I hear things busting things open. This can't be good. Um, I know I'm not sneaking. Where? Oh, you're breaking that open. Okay, just want to stay on my toes here. Because I don't get caught unaware by a bear or a bunch of snow zombies teaming up on me. I just want to get this quest done, and I know I've got some good tools of loot or loot in the bottom. Nice. Uh, level up. Actually, let's go see what that gets us. Ooh, ammo. Um, yes, we can go another point in Sexy T-Rex, which will help us. Um, what about blunt weapons? Is there something in here that I have to do? Blunt weapon crafting. Unlocks the baseball bat. Oh. Baton? Chrome club? Okay, so note to self, wait till we get some more blunt skills. Oh god. Um, are we... Okay, sounds like we're gonna get swarmed here in a second. So let me just, fi let's just finish the POI. What was that? Oh, I hear that bear now. This is gonna be where I die, isn't it? I know it. Okay, there's a club. Um, did I bring a spare? I did not. Okay, blunderbuss it is. All right, let's uh, go get the rest of these guys. Okay, looks like we cleared the area. Our quest is complete. At least we achieved that before we died. Uh, maybe we'll get some... Wait. What? Why can't I loot that? Weird. Uh, let's... Oh god, the graphics on that is horrible. Where's a way to fix this? Uh, let's loot this. Hopefully we got... Oh! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You're a shadow alerted me to, at the last second. Get fucked, buddy. Alright, what do we got in here? 
Come on, pistol or something. Something shooty, AK-47 or... A pitchfork? Okay, I gotta see this. What's it do? Melee damage? Oh. <laughs> Alright. Uh, see what this... Alright, so it's like a... Probably it's considered a... Um, a uh, what do you call it? Oh, oh no. Oh no. Uh... Oh no. Okay, ring around the rosy time. Oh, this is not good. Not good at all. There are so many lumberjacks. So many. They can smell my wood. Stay my wood. Stay away from my wood. Oh god, just keep using. Oh god, thank god we had this blunderbuss. Because I don't know. Damn it, I missed. I don't know where we would be without it right now. Just keep circling. Okay, what do you got? What do you got? Give me something special. Food, all right. Hi. <laughs> all right. Just keep shooting, man. Oh, you missed me. We missed each other. Oh. Okay. Whoa. Stay away from all the angry men in the dark. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh, this is about the silliest damn thing I've done all day. Oh, oh no head for you, sir. Oh, so many of you. But there's more of you, and now there's significantly less of you. So far, we're doing pretty good. I don't even think they touched us yet. Let's not change that, shall we? I think it's... Oh, oh he's raging. Ah! <laughs> oh, oh, God. Those eyes. Um... Oh my god. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We got stunned. Okay. Woo! Woo! Okay. 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 Let's uh, go back to the bus. Even though it's probably making a crap ton of noise. Woo! Okay. We're out of ammo, so it's back to the pitchfork. Okay. Um, the bulk of them's dead. I think I see another one up there. Let's just try to get the rest of our loot in GTFO, because this, this dance is getting old. All right. What's in here? Ooh, that's a nice stone axe. Is there something I didn't think I'd say? Why can't I loot that? Get fucked, buddy. You stay right there. You stay bugged out. I don't mind abusing a little bit of a pathing glitch to finish your business. Can I? Is it? Can I throw this? Yeah, I can. <laughs> okay, this this one's kind of cool. It's definitely a spear. So we we'll get some ammo, some medical supplies. Oh, drugs. Yes, 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 drugs. Okay, what is this about? That is bullcrap. It's like not even there. Uh, damn it. Okay, I'm gonna toss the bow, eat the chicken rations, uh, drop the barricades. Um, do I have... Do I, am I wearing chest armor? I am not. Mm, okay. You know what? I'm gonna do a little bit of looting. Um... Then use my uh, my drugs to get me home. Ooh, that's a nice shovel, a uh, cloth repair kit, and armor polish. So, um, I don't even have a shovel, so I can't really grab this cobblestone. That's a big oversight on my part. Oopsie. But anyways, this is not. Um, what's that? From oh, okay, it's more of something I can scrap for knowledge points. Oh, I didn't know that. Neat. Uh, oh, there's ammo back here too. Uh, more blunderbuss ammo would be a treat. But, oh well. What can you do? Alright, so yes, let's go back to looting and then uh, take some and some uh, some drugs and then just run back to the trader. Alright, just about done looting here. I'm looking at this bathroom see if there's anything cool. Just a rusty barrel. Oh well. Um, anything else? Don't think so. Oh, let's check that, that toilet. You never know. Uh, this might be a toilet pistol situation. Nope. I did find some crap, though. Is, is poop used in this mod? It is uh, used for composting. Healthy turd, coffee beans, clay soil, composting. All right, what does the turds look like in this game? All right. Well, whatever. I guess it's used for something, so we probably should take it. Ugh. Ugh. Um, yeah, I think we're... Ooh, medical pile. I think this should be the last of it now. Some glue. And whatever's in here. Some screws. All right, now I think we're good. Let's uh, pop a steroid, which I imagine gives us yet yeah, 10 minutes of super speed. And we'll uh, get to the trader and then get back home. And, oh, I saluted this a second ago. Cannabis bud. 
uh, for medical applications. Use for bong, for joint. Okay, I see where that's going. I don't, I don't, I don't judge. It's not my thing, but I don't judge. All right, now let's get our asses home. All right, I just arrived at the trader, just making my way back in. It looks like some zombies busted down the, uh, um, the way in, but whatever. You know, it's... It's gonna happen anyways. All right, let's get this quest turned in. Uh, ammo, family. yeah, absolutely. Take the ammo. Three thousand experience, four hundred dukes. Deal. Um, I mean, yeah, I'm not gonna never mind for now. All right, uh, quest is done. I'm just gonna head back home. Oh no, I didn't break anything. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna actually end the video here. It's I played a good day and a half. Um, it's I could keep going, but it's it's not gonna show us any more than we've seen. So, what do you think? So this is, uh, again, what, what's currently winning in terms of um, what everyone's voting for in our community poll. Again, this is uh, uh, at the time this video was posted, we had a poll going. So in case you're watching this later, in case you're wondering what I'm talking about, um, we were trying to decide on what mod to play a series in. Like, I, I played our Darkest Fall series about 50, we're going to be like some 50 plus episodes in, uh, and then finish that. We'll probably end up doing the same in whatever mod we play next. So it's a big decision. It's going to take a lot of commitment. And I want to make sure the next one we play is something people want to see and something I'm going to have fun with. Like I'll have the final decision, but I will take all of your input close to heart and uh, use that as part of my decision. Anyways, if you like what we saw here today, uh, give a thumbs up on the video, like and subscribe, you know, the whole business. And if, uh, if you like what you saw here today, you can also vote on the community poll, but you can also go ahead and wait until we've done the other mods before we make your final decision. All right, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.